Do you teach a CLIL class? Do you find it difficult to deal with the specificities of language in your technical or scientific field? SCAL can help you with that. I'm going to give you one practical example of how you can use SCAL in one of your lessons. Let's imagine you're teaching physics in English and you come across the phrase spring force, also known as tension force, which arises when an elastic body is pulled apart or compressed. If your students look up the word spring in a monolingual or bilingual dictionary, they will find that spring as a noun may refer to the season, a coil, elasticity, a natural water source or a jump. At the same time, spring as a verb may mean leap, emerge, originate or activate, just to mention a few, depending on the context. Spring is what we call a polysemous word, or a word that has different meanings that derive from a common origin. Using scale can help your students distinguish the different meanings and recognize collocations, colligations and patterns of use. For instance, you could use the examples function to help students identify the context in which spring is used in its physics meaning, namely numbers 18, 22 and 26. Or when it has the more technical meaning of coil, such as sentences 3 and 10. Another useful exercise related to the general meaning of the word is to look at what happens when spring is used as a verb. Often, in fact, it is used as a phrasal verb with the preposition up, for example, in sentences 14 and 17. In this case, the meaning is to grow or appear suddenly. The pattern will be confirmed if you open the word sketch page and select spring as a verb. So you can look up here in the section phrasal verbs. By selecting spring as a noun instead, you can teach your students how to notice common collocations of the word in a technical context. For example, coil, compress or stretch in the second section. You can do the same with all the other meanings of spring, eliciting questions and pointing out fixed phrases such as spring cleaning and spring break in the first section. In this case, the similar word section will not be particularly useful because the most common meaning of spring is the one referring to the season and not the one we searched for. One more thing. Remember, you can also decide to search for a phrase instead of a word. You can digit spring force and look at the example section. Although in this case there will be no word sketch and similar words, you can still help students notice common collocations, for example the verbs apply, overcome and balance. I hope this example was useful. Try and use it in your clear lessons.